Welcome to the Makulu Linux uh, setup installer live installer guide. Today I'm going to show you how to install Makulu Linux. The installer has been rewritten, well most of it anyway. Uh, previously we only had one install mode, expert install, and uh, you know the script uh, or the installer guide, installer script bombarded the, the user with a lot of options, lots of options. And especially the the sort of more novice Linux users, you know, it, it was very confusing for them. So I've enabled an easy installation mode as well as an expert installation mode. Expert mode I will not cover in this um, video because advanced users should know their way around Linux. If they don't, they are recommended to use the easy installation, which basically just asks a few questions and installs the operating system. It's actually very simple. So I'm going to go ahead and click on easy installation. It will simply pop up a partitioning uh, window and say either create a new partition or use an existing partition. Uh, if you actually read the descriptions on the menus it will tell you you need to have at least one partition for the installation. We recommend minimum 8 gigabyte of free space on partition. If you have already a partition you can skip this step. If you're unsure how to proceed click install guide on the desktop. Okay, so the choices are create a new partition, use ex existing partition, exit the installer. Right, I actually have a partition but I want to show you the create new partition part so I'm actually going to click on that even though I could use an existing partition so let's go create new partition right as you can see I'm just going to blank this okay if it's a first time you're installing on PC and you've got no no partitions you will be some presented with something like this that will say unallocated blah 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 right all you need to simply do is go to um, device click on create partition table OK and then click new drag the slider to how big the partition you want has to be select the file system ext23 or 4 go add and click apply and that is it there partition created so to create a partition is very simple you click on device on tail on top click the create device tables then on the actual partition where you actually see your partition lists if you've got more than one select one right click choose new or resize or whatever you want to do create a partition make sure it's ext4 file system and always check over here under part where it says partition if it says dev sda1 sb1 sb a b whatever in our case it's sda1 so we know which partition it is that we're going to be using right i'm just going to close the installer again because I want to start over but this time I want to choose a different path okay so I'm gonna choose easy installation and I'm not gonna choose create a new partition because I already have one I mean I know which drive I want to put this on I don't need to partition which most people will not need to partition because they know where they want to install it it's only those that don't have a partition or actually not sure of which partition they will actually need to go in there and you know sort of just create one resize or whatever you want to do most new users will simply use use existing partition options so we choose use existing partition it actually pops up a list if you actually drag this list it actually pops up a list and it tells you here CD-ROM there it tells you ext4 drive and it tells you SDA1 and then that's a squash FS don't worry about it don't worry about the CD-ROM this is actually what you want you want to use SDA1 right so if you check the other list it says the SDA1 it's only detected one drive so you select it and you can close this background window anytime you want you choose the new host name for your computer in this case I'm just gonna put test computer name test uh, and it will automatically set the MBR to uh, master uh, already it will set your grub bootloaded to MBR master boot record and it will automatically put the um, format the partition as ext4 so you don't even have to choose that that's all automatically done for you so in expert mode you can actually go and set all of those settings manually if you want 
but in easy installation mode everything's done for you now so there's a lot of stuff that's been that you had to literally choose before that's been cut out for you now so if we go proceed with installation now it will actually start the installation see we answered three simple questions so let's click on that and as you can see it is starting installation and there we go copying files to new partition I'm going to pause the video here now and return once the installation this part of the installation is finished right now that we have finished that part of the installation you'll simply be asked I think two or three more questions and then you're done this is it it asks you what you want for a new login name that's your actual that's your name your login name in this case uh, my name is Jacques so I'm gonna put there Jacques I'm gonna push enter and then just give it a system a second to set up everything uh, give you your IDs for my folders and so forth now it's gonna ask my real name which is Jacques Montague Raymer there we go there's my real name enter and it's going to ask do I want to change my root password obviously I say yes uh, what do I want for a root password um, let me choose one enter it twice uh, it's going to ask would I like to change my user password and I say yes and I enter that as well press OK tells me Makulu Linux installation is complete you may now reboot into the new system remember to move your installation media blah blah after reboot follow the setup guide carefully to set up your desktop environment okay so if I click OK installer will exit see so unlike the previous installer you don't get asked a million different questions I think in total I was asked I think five questions that's it and the rest was easy um, don't worry if you want to set your language and keyboard and, and all those settings I've written a new post installation script after you boot in for the first time into the operating system it will actually ask you all those questions uh, make sure that your internet connection is working before, beforehand that's it that's how easy it is to install Makulu Linux with a new installation in, uh, with a new installer thank you and I hope you guys uh, enjoy the new series of releases